so just uh, an update on the, the compost heap. Um, I say it's been, I've set it up about two weeks ago. Uh, we have two buckets of human manure gone into it. Um, say one and a half of kitchen waste, eggshells, banana skins, all that kind of crack. Um, now we do have the Pine Martin visited one night. There's been something small visiting, kind of pulling out these bits and pieces, but uh, it's not bothering me too much. Um, but it's actually frozen out here. It's about, I think, zero degrees now. Uh, it's just 11 o'clock in the day and it's brightened up. But we're actually making, you can see that now, 10 degrees in the center of the heap. Um, so basically, I think it's working. We have a bed of straw underneath. Um, bed of straw, then I have a few leaves and bits and pieces that I, I gathered up from here uh, that have fallen and kind of rotted away. Um, then I have the humanure in the middle, compost, kitchen compost in the middle. Um, then I added some brambles and stuff that I was chopping down and kind of clearing. Um, and then I had an old couple of piles, about a year old of old brambles and stuff that I'd, I'd moved with the digger. Um, and they'd already kind of started to rot down. So I added them to the pile. Um, and then two wheelbarrow loads of grass cuttings, rushes and briars that I cleared uh, from another patch um, over the top. And then when I'm emptying in it, I just clear a hole in the middle, empty into the middle and recover uh, with a fresh layer. So it seems to be working. If it's 10 degrees in there and it's zero kind of degrees out here, that's definitely making heat. I don't think there's any way that the straw will insulate it that much. Um, but yeah, so that's a quick update. I have a covered, um, I have a covered with the, the tin sheets just to stop it getting too wet and they just slide over the blocks and I have one on the back there that's nailed on. That uh, little front uh, door just lifts all the way up. Um, that's it, yeah, I'll make another, another heap um, when I need to make it. But yeah, a bit of cardboard, um, kind of everything goes in here. I'm just not putting the wood and coal ash and making a pile there. Um, just purely because we're using coal in the fire now, I, I hear it can bring toxicity to it and affect the compost end result. So um, there's no point risking it for that. So yeah, happy happy out. Hopefully it uh, keeps climbing. It's, it started off maybe two or three days when I started it with just the straw. It was at, um, at four degrees um, and it's just been climbing ever since. So it seems to be working. We'll keep, uh, keep an eye on it. And once it stays fairly hot anyway, we'll keep adding to it.